Hello, sir. Good. How are you? Good. Uh, reason I put you over to you, your brake lights are out. So you only have one activated active brake light, and that's going to be your passenger side one, your third brake light, which is up here on top, and then this one back here, is going to be out. You have your license and insurance? I'm sorry. One adult female can take into custody. Driver at gunpoint. Juvenile female child is with 6920. Me and a couple other squads block off intersections. Get supervisors here. Uh, pays them out. What do you need, more? Wait. Yep. Alright. Okay. Can see both his hands? Yep. I need somebody to get okay, gloves Olaf on. More are all officers up. Okay. Are all officers good? Okay. Are all officers good? All officers are good. We need it. Hold in off. Park. I'm going to take your spot. I'm going to take your spot. Listen. Listen. I'm going to take your spot, buddy. Listen. I got your spot, okay? I got him. I got him. I got him. Yeah. I got him. I got him, buddy. I got him. Just, yeah, talk, right? right? You're not hit any area. Oh, my God. Fuck it in. Fuck! We have everybody. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. Call the fucking copy in his hand out! Okay. Okay. 
more squads here so we can fucking block off everybody over there. Ah! We got that block off on there, we got it blocked off here. <sighs> Someone move a squad up alongside over there. Right at the driver, I had it right out. Okay. I had it pointed down. I don't know how many rounds I let out or anything. Okay. So you were, I just need to know which one's your car right here. Mine's the one that's pulling them over. Okay. So you pointed just directly ahead of Just directly ahead. I had it at my waist. Was he sitting in the car? Was he, he was sitting in the car, seat belted. <clears throat> I told him, that's your license. And then, told me he has a firearm, I told him not to reach for it, and when he went down to grab, I told him not to reach for it, <clears throat> and then he kept it right there, and I told him to take his hands off of it, and then he, he had his grip a lot wider than a wallet, and I don't know where the gun was, he didn't tell me where the fucking gun was, and then it was just getting hanky, he gave, he was just staring straight ahead, and then I was getting fucking nervous and then I told him I know I know fucking I told him to get his fucking hand off his gun okay okay is everybody is everybody Fuck! is everybody in custody do we have everybody were there yeah. two there people in the car three people in the three car in the, the car. female front seat passenger the okay. little girl just in the back breathe breathe <laughs> and the dude okay from having been oh, through this geez. before Okay. Listen to me listen, real quick, but, okay. so I know, I know you want to talk about it, but there's, there's things we need to know. Yep. If, if there's any other suspects, you said no. Yep. What direction did you fire your weapon? Yep. I had it down his hip, I had it pointed just down. Into your, into at the diagonal. Okay. Nope, so we're just bringing it on. Into the down. car. Okay. Yep. It's, all around during the okay. car. Good. Okay. good work. And then there's no other outstanding suspects and nobody else is injured that you know of. Nobody else is injured that I know of. Okay. okay. Let's That's get you out of here, buddy. Yep. What's good, people? Uncle Hotel back at it again. How y'all doing? Uh, I watched that Geronimo Yana's shooting of Flando Castile. You know, they, they had the, uh, the, the the car cam. Police, police car cam. And it showed his traffic stop. And you know what? <laughs> and I guess this didn't get played in the jury uh, during the trial. I mean, I'm sorry um, that the jury could see that. Now, if the jury saw that, they were like, you know, that's. I 
him it's bad policing and to me he seemed like he had it. he had his hand on his gun like he put his hand on it a couple times when he was walking up you know what I'm saying um, that should have I would have gave attention right there right there I'm like now I know uh, allegedly it was supposed to be a, a robbery in that same area and the guy he fit the description of the person I guess he was smoking weed in the car or which that's just absolutely savage, man. But come on, I mean, that's not. And he's and that I think that's what uh, Flint, uh, Geronimo stated. You know, like this guy can smoke weed in, in, in front of his kids. What he'll do to me? I'm like Jesus Christ. You know, it is a savage move smoking weed in front of you, rolling like rolling bunts and smoking in front of your kids. That is a savage move. Don't get it confused. But to, to, to equate that savagery with killing other people. Um, that's a bit much. Um, one uh, one guy, one of the people that uh, I follow on YouTube, he made a good video about how to uh, when you got a, a CC uh, concealed carry license, uh, how to uh, act on a traffic stop. It's a pretty good video. Um, I'll, I'll try to leave a link in the box to the video. Um, I think I've liked it or favorited it. I, I think I commented on it. I know for sure. But I'll find the video again and and, and just watch the video. And it, it was just amazing. And, uh, this guy here has somebody how he does it. This guy had his hands all the way out the window. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know. Being a black American, I think you, you always had to move different. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, you know you're going to get pulled over more. You know I mean, that's without a, a shadow of a doubt. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if you know where you're going to get pulled over more, you, you should know, you should have your, uh, all your things in order. You know what I mean? Your, your license, your registration. You shouldn't be smoking weed in, in, the, in, in, in a ride with, <laughs> with your kid in there and have the weed smoke smelling everywhere. Like, you had no instant, like, no, uh, barbecue supply place I drive by and, uh, I think it's Meadow Creek or something like that I don't know what that is. but anyway there's, there's barbecue but back to my my my, uh, my story um I was listening. yeah he shouldn't be like they didn't have any uh, spray to spray when he got pulled over he just uh, let the weed smoke come out the wheel now I'm not it's obviously wrong I mean the man lost his life he shouldn't have lost his life that guy should have been guilty, but you know what I mean. I, that's how they. That's how they do it. You know what I mean. They overcharge him. They 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 keep evidence out, and there it goes. You know what I mean. <laughs> that's how, that's how it is. And then they release it. And another thing about this, you know, they released it. Like I said about, uh, like I've been saying, they time these releases. I mean, this stuff happened last year, this summer, after basketball's over, then after a couple of days after the trial's over, just to get the Negroes mad again, they released the video. This is all planned. You know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. It really, really is. You know what I mean? I, I think they they expect the Negroes to be out rioting the streets every day. They're probably like, damn, we got to kill another one. This is how I think they, they, the Illuminati's, the Soros's of the world work. You know what I mean? This is this is hogwash, man. Yeah, but that's a, definitely a bad shooting. And, 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 and these people talk about white supremacy. I'm like, Geronimo Yanez is white supremacy? Then, he, then, he, then the nogs on the collie got the nerve to call him a white Hispanic. To me, first of all, he ain't no his white Hispanics. Like, this is that American bullshit. You Hispanic, you Hispanic. I don't care, you light skin, dark skin, you the same mother. You all fucking Hispanic. You speak that mean to me to shit, you Hispanic. I don't know what the hell to talk to, to say. And then when you look at him, like, you wouldn't. If you had. You had a lineup of cops, and you had your Geronimo there. You'd be like, pick all the white cops. You would not pick her, Geronimo. You just look at him. And 
Listen, he don't even look remotely white, to be honest with you. You know, this is just more that um, American, because like uh, nobody else does us uh, white Hispanics in, in the whole entire world except for America. I think mean, it's you know the way they do racial whatever the demographics or whatever you want to call it is bizarre to me. You know, what I mean, it's they. And I don't know what the reason for it is. Kind of iffy. But I never, I never made that distinction. Um, I always separated. <laughs> I mean, you got whites, Hispanics, blacks. But I, that's when I was coming up. You know what I mean? Um, I never made that uh, white Hispanic distinction. You know what I mean? I, I, even you had a last name like Ted Cruz. I mean, like, nigga, Hispanic. I don't know what you want to talk. What you want to call me? <laughs> what you want to call it? Just because he got bleached out, he's not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know. That's sad, man. You know, and, and they just release it to hype y'all up. Y'all, when I see Ebro on a, in the morning, oh, that shouldn't be the first thing I watched this morning. I'm so upset. I'm like, what are you getting upset for, man? That shit happens all the time. I mean, people get killed all the time, every day. Be, niggas die every day, be in the world's of, words of Cameron Giles. Niggas die every day. That's a sad thing to say. I mean, just because it's uh, by a police officer, and they, you know, they make mistakes. And what I always say, man, if we want to see less mistakes, we got to have better people in police uh, departments. You, know, you got to have better... Uh, have some reform in there. Try to join yourself. If you think you can do a better job than these, than the Geronimo Yanas is of the world, go to school and sign the hell up. That's what they need. Y'all let these fucking nogs fucking sign up. This Hispanic nog Yanez go sign up and he, he put a bullet in, in, in Philando Castile. And y'all crying about a damn wall. Like I said, a white man want to put the wall up, man. <laughs> I'm going to ask him how many bricks he <laughs> That's what you African-Americans, you Akatas, you shine, should be saying. Not all oh, the walls racist. And like, it don't got nothing to do with you. I can't call it. Anyway, I just want to make a video about that shooting. I'll probably, I'll probably put the video in there. Anyway, if you like my videos, please like and share. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Andy Mayhem, Uncle Hotep. Um, episode 60 of the podcast. Please leave a review on iTunes. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and that's it.